looks just like fried chicken in a biscuit. So let's give it a shot. Chick fil A for breakfast. Hi there. Uh, can I get uh, one uh, egg white grill, please? I'm gonna try the uh, the three count Chick fil A minis, and then I will have a um, one uh, Greek yogurt parfait, please. Are you doing the granola or the cookies? Uh, granola, please. And then, how much are your hash browns? One All right, thanks so much. All right, for sure. Goodbye. They forgot my parfait. Alrighty, what's going on guys? So welcome back to another video. This is actually gonna be another review and today I decided to go to Chick-fil-A to try out their breakfast menu. Now, as most of you may know, I am a humongous breakfast guy. I love breakfast food. So breakfast is my favorite type of food to eat and I've never tried Chick-fil-A's breakfast and I actually have only had Chick-fil-A once in my life. So I decided to go there today. Granted, they did leave some things out of my order. They kind of messed it up. It's all good. I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. So right here we have their hash browns, which is something I have to try from every breakfast place. I have to try the hash browns. Then we have these little chicken biscuit things. I am not gonna lie here, guys. I, I forgot what they're called, but uh, yeah. So chicken right here, and then we have their egg white griller that they just came out with, so I decided to give this a shot. Um, yeah, like I said, they left out a few things in my order, but I'm not gonna be mad. I did work in the food industry for a while. I know how things get in the mornings when it's super busy. So without further ado, let's get to that review. Alrighty guys, so let's give it a shot. So first, I'm gonna start off with this egg white griller. I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical with this one at first, but um, I, was, I saw it when I was driving through uh, the drive-through, so I figured I'd try it out. Um, I've never been a fan of eating chicken for breakfast, so I really just don't know what to say about this one. When I unwrapped it, it wasn't the most appealing thing in the world, so you guys can check out the chicken breast right there. Um, the egg white looks certainly good, but the biscuit's kind of falling apart already, but that's what happens when you take it home. So, but yeah, let's give it a shot and see if it tastes good. So that is the inside look. The first thing I'm gonna say about this, guys, is that the chicken breast is definitely a two out of 10. Tastes like rubbery plastic, uh, and the texture is also like rubbery plastic as well now. The egg white is actually pretty good. I mean, it's an egg white, but you can get a lot of these, um, you know, egg McMuffins and everything like that. I mean, different egg sandwiches at a lot of different places, and they don't really hold up over time well enough. Uh, I feel like this one's pretty good. The biggest thing is that the, the bread is actually pretty tasty. So I like the bread the most out of this, but yeah, the chicken breast is definitely off-putting in this. I don't really know what they were trying to get here, but then again, it is Chick-fil-A, right? So. Alrighty, and next we're gonna be trying the chick. I still don't know what these are called. <laughs> but whatever they are, we're gonna try them out. It looks just like fried chicken in a biscuit. So let's give it a shot. That's not bad. That is definitely not bad right there. So this one actually gets a pretty strong seven out of 10 for me. I love the fact here that the biscuit's warm and flaky. I feel like uh, a lot of, again, I'm comparing most of this to the typical breakfast foods and breakfast places that I've been to, but this one's certainly nice and flaky. Um, it's buttery without it being, you know, too rich. But, um, but yeah, I mean, this one's, delicious. I, I don't really think that, um, I don't know, it's just hard for me to kind of get over them uh, doing chicken for breakfast. I mean, I, I you guys are going to flame me for this, but Chick-fil-A is awesome. Um, I know I, the last time I went there, the only time I've been there, I had their, um, I had their uh, waffle fries and their waffle fries were amazing and um, I had a chicken sandwich, it was a while back. But 
yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just for me having chicken for, chicken for breakfast is just a little off-putting, but I love the idea that they have with this. Uh, if anything, I would recommend to this would just be like some maple syrup or maple flavoring in this, which would be awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely would buy these again. So again, these get a solid seven out of 10 for me. And next, we have the moment we've all been waiting for, the hash browns. Like I said, guys, I am a huge hash brown fan and I pretty much judge every breakfast place I go to based on their hash browns and their potatoes. So let's see how Chick-fil-A did. One more for good measure. Not bad, not bad. So these, I like the fact that they're more like discs. So they're more like, I would say these are like the size of like a quarter. Um, they're not too, uh, too fried by any means. I mean, these are definitely gonna be ones that have like a nice lighter coating to them. Um, they're not gonna be along the lines of like McDonald's status, because McDonald's, we all know, has the best hash browns of all time. Let's just be honest here, guys. But these definitely, um, I would say, I like the size of them. They're not super salty. I know a lot of hash browns you can get really salty hash browns and they just are so off-putting, but these are actually pretty good. What would be cool is if they did some like some sweet potato hash browns. That would be amazing. So shout out to Chick-fil-A. You know, if you wanna take me up on that. If I were to give these a rating, I definitely give them an eight out of 10. Regardless guys, it's hard for me to hate hash browns. I'm just, I'm not gonna lie to you guys here. Uh, these, I would definitely buy these again. Solid, solid, solid. So in order right here, we have what not to buy and what to buy. Do not buy this. Think about buying this. Nothing groundbreaking, pretty good. Definitely buy these. Alrighty guys, that's been the review. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys like my food reviews, definitely let me know in the comments below. I love to hear feedback, whether it's negative or positive. So if you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video guys and go ride a bicycle. Fitness? Fitness burger in my mouth.